uh, I'm glad we were able to get a couple extra people on for uh, by waiting a couple extra minutes. So thank you. So again, my name is Dan Henry. I'm director of uh, franchise development for Getting Shape for Women, and I'm excited to go through this webinar for you today. So let's get started. All right, so we are going to focus this webinar into three sections. First section is going to be how to lose 12 to 30 pounds in 12, 12 weeks or less. Second section will be how to turn this passion into a meaningful career. So the first section for us is um, kind of what we're known for. It, 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 it's how we run our business. It's, it's uh, you know, the, the, me, the, the, the nuts and bolts to it. Next section will be how to turn that passion for helping people transform into a meaningful career. And then the third section will be taking that next step and becoming an owner, uh, a franchise owner for Getting Shape for Women. So what we want to do first is start off with a positive focus. Um, our positive focus is something we do every, uh, with every one of our um, meetings. We started off, if, if we're doing a quarterly meeting, an annual meeting, or just a, a meeting with a couple people, we make sure that we start off with positive focus because the reason we do that is because we understand that negativity and creativity can't live in the same mindset. So if you start off the meeting, and even if it's not with, if, if it's just standard and not with any sort of positivity but or, or starts off negative, you know that meeting is not going to be as effective and it's going to be immediately, all the creativity is going to be sucked out of the room. So what we do is, is we start off with positivity. Uh, we, we start by doing that because what it does is it turns the whole meeting into a really engaging, exciting experience. So I'll give you my positive focus. I really suggest uh, you guys typing in yours. Uh, if you're watching this webinar with somebody today, uh, saying it with them or just saying it out loud to yourself to really put your mindset into that kind of, that sense of positivity. Um, so I'll do a professional and a personal one. Um, professionally, uh, I'm starting to do these webinars uh, on, a, on a regular basis now, and we'll, you know, Brian and I will, will share responsibility through, through some parts of it, but I'll be mostly doing these webinars. That's, a, that's very fun and exciting for me. I really, you know, I've done these in the past, and I really enjoy uh, engaging in this manner and going through this, this, um, this process with you, with you all. Uh, personally, uh, you know, it was just a great, amazing weekend with my, uh, my family, um, my wife and kids and I went up to, um, uh, Maine where I grew up and just had this amazing experience with my family and just got to see my cousin, my brothers and my mom and dad and all my nieces and nephews. So, uh, just very relaxing and fun, uh, engaging for us. So that's my positive focus. I really suggest you guys, please type in your positive focus, say them out loud. Make sure you get yourself into that positive mindset. All right, so now to get into, um, to get into this a little bit more, so we're going to go into what our vision is. Um, our CEO, Brian Cook, and our, our president, Lou DeFrancesco, went out to um, Arizona for some off-site consulting a couple years back. And one of their projects to do was to kind of put together their vision. And the vision had to compose, be composed of their purpose, their core values, and their current mission. And they said, all right, we'll put down a purpose. And, of course, everybody has a purpose. We all have purposes. But when you write it down and you put that down and you put it out to the world, it's a really powerful moment because what you're doing is you're letting people know exactly who you are, what you are, and saying that this is written in stone and this is how I run my business and how I run everything about it. So our purpose is six simple words, to empower women through body transformation. To empower women through body transformation. That means that everything that we do, every decision we make, every new exercise routine, all new marketing, all new everything, always goes back to this one statement. Will this help to empower women through body transformation? Are the decisions we're making here helping to empower women through body transformation? Are the franchisees that we're bringing on people who are going to help empower women through body transformation? Are the managers and trainers that we're hiring people who are going to help embody people through body transformation? And about empower women through body transformation, sorry. Um, and that's really, that became our major purpose. Not, we, we then have 
kind of dedicated and dictated everything we do around this easy statement. The next part of the, this, the putting our vision together was doing our core values. Now, our core values are, you know, it's funny when I, I remember originally speaking with Brian and Lou about this when they came back with all this, uh, you know, and they, they showed me the original core values. I'm like, so that's excellent. How long did this play take you to put together? This must have taken a couple of days or, you know, one or two days. No, more like, you know, four or five months to get this thing together. Because what they wanted to do was really put out and really research and really figure out exactly what our core values are. Because what we do with these core values is we put them out to the world. We let everybody know what our core values are because we want to do two things. One, by putting these core values out into the world, we are attracting people who, are, who hold the exact similar core values as we hold. That they, you know, they, they believe uh, in the power of positivity. They treat their customers like family. So we're putting these core values out because that's the people we want to attract. But also, what it does is it repels the people who don't fall into these uh, core values. I'm not saying the people who don't fall into these core values aren't good people or bad people. What I'm saying is that they would not survive in our franchise because this is what we do. This is who we are. And we want like individuals who are attracted to these core values and we want to go out there and, and express these core values through their business. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to run through these core values, talk a little bit about each, not too long because I know we have a limited amount of time. And um, and then uh, we can um, move on from there. So core value number one, we treat our customers like family. That's a really important one. This goes back to Brian, our CEO and founder's first studio. Uh, you know, he, he dug all the way back to then when he put together, we put this on paper because he actually invited all 150 of his clients to his wedding. And he said, you know, that's, you know, these people were that important to me. These people were that much of, you know, uh, that much a part of my life that it was important to me to have them at one of the most special days of my life. Now, um, what else does that mean, treating my customers like family? It means that you're going to embrace them. It means you're going to get right up there and you're going to train for them because you care for them. It means that you're going to have those honest sometimes difficult conversations with them because you care for them and you know that you need to have those in order for them to succeed. Um, and, you know, you're going to, you know, you're going to be there for them in, in down times and good times. And you're going to celebrate with them and you're going to, you know, have, uh, you know, be there in the bad times. So that's, uh, that's what treating your customers like family means. Uh, we have a passion for health and fitness. I think it goes without saying, I don't think um, any of us would be doing this uh, if we didn't have a passion for health and fitness. Um, we believe in the power of positivity. We start every meeting with positive focus. We put our positivity out there. We know that our positivity also pushes all that negativity out of the room. Um, and, you know, we, we, wish, we want to be surrounded by people who are positive and ready to make a change. We wow our customers by exceeding expectations. Uh, I, you know, I love this one. You, you may have also heard it as um, under promise, over deliver. It's, it's a simple, simple act. But when you tell a woman, uh, a client, that you're going to get off, you're going to get this weight off, and not only are you get the weight off, but you're going to lose, you know, these 50 pounds in, in this 6 to 12 month period, and all of a sudden you get them down to 50 pounds in a four month period. They're gonna, their hair is going to be blown back. They're going to be screaming your, your, uh, uh, your, your um, accolades from the rooftop because they're going to be so excited. But if you tell them we're going to get the 50 pounds off in a six-month period, and 12 months from then they've lost three pounds, yeah, it's not going to be something they're going to be really excited about. So we want to make sure that we're wowing our customers by every step of the way, even on the franchise or level. We want to make sure that as a, you know, a new franchisee coming on board, we want to blow your hair back with everything that we do, we want to give you all the training and all the systems and all the um, and all the uh, 
development that we promise and go above and beyond that to make sure that you understand that we really do care for you and we want to make sure you're successful. <laughs> we check our egos at the door. The very hard one, the difficult one, especially with successful people who earn those egos. But what you have to remember is that if you have an ego, that means that you know everything there is to know about everything. It means that that one topic that you're, you have that ego for, you know everything there is to know, and there's nothing else to be learned. But if you're able to take that ego, leave it at the door when you walk in those doors, when you come to these meetings, when you come to your studio, uh, you can realize that you can learn a lot, and there's a lot to be learned and a lot to be given um, to your customers. We are continually learning. We devour business books here. Uh, we're currently reading a great book right now called Scaling Up. Uh, we really try to, um, by Vern Harnish, we really try to take a lot of principles from these business books, from these fitness books, from uh, articles, and we try to incorporate them to make sure, and, and review them to make sure that we're running our business at the top level to help you make sure that you're running your business at the top level. We believe in honest, open communication. Um, I think that uh, this is really important. We can't have any sort of um, any sort of non-honesty in the air out there. You know, you make sure that we are having a conversation with you, and from the time that you and I have our first uh, initial phone call to the time that you meet with Brian to our discovery days, we are honest. We'll be honest with you. We'll be open with you, and we'll make sure that you understand exactly every little bit about what Get In Shape is, the, is and what it is to offer. And we will hope that on the studio side, that you need to, you, we understand that on the studio side, you need to be honest and open with your clients as well. Because if you're not honest and open with them, then you're not going to get anything taken care of. And it's, you know, sometimes you have to have that, hey, Sally, I see you put on a couple pounds this week. What happened? Let's talk about this. Let's figure out the problem and nip this in the bud uh, before it becomes even bigger and you're not, um, you're not happy here anymore. We believe accountability leads to success. Accountability is, is one of our four components of our model. We understand that in order to be successful, you need to be held accountable. If that's holding yourself accountable or somebody holding you accountable, um, that's the only way you can be successful in whatever uh, venture you decide to go down. And we hope to be able to help you hold yourself accountable uh, by us holding you accountable. Um, we love what we do. That's an important one. If you don't love what you do, it's not worth doing. Um, and I like to tell this story because I, I think it's a great kind of a understanding of what, who we are here. In my early 20s, I made an early decision that I was never going to do anything that I wasn't passionate about. I um, And I, I followed that through. I, I decided that I was going to find what my passion is and try to get a career in that, whatever it is. Um, so... When I got hired here, my first time meeting with Brian, I remember his excitement about talking about parenting because he said to me, um, you know, one of the best things about, that I figured out about being a parent is that I now have to help my son and daughter, my sons and daughter, figure out what their passion is and then learn how to monetize it. And this is something that I've been holding dear to me for 15 plus years of what exactly how I want to, you know, the person I am. And so to hear him say that this is how he's going to raise his kids and this is what he does and that he loves what he does and he doesn't go to work a day in his life, that, that's exciting for me. That's that was the company I wanted to be a part of. So we love what we do. And, and every day, nothing we do feels like work because, you know, we know that it's, a, it's meaningful and that we're uh, working towards a, a really great goal. Speaking about goals, part of our goal is our mission. And, our mission is to open 500 locations by 2024 by developing the best fitness franchise model in the world. Now, that sounds like a lofty goal, but we know that we can do it because we have the systems and the planning put into place. We have um, our, uh, our, our methods and everything ready to move forward, so we know exactly the steps we need to take in order to create those 500 locations by 2024. And uh, we've already, I think we've already developed the best fitness franchise in the model in the world, and we're continuously growing on that model. So let's get into the, um, you know, what our compelling value proposition is. And our value proposition is that we, we create the best body transformation. And there are tons of great workouts out there, but 
there is a transformation nowhere. Um, and we create transformation because we know that transformation um, is a key. Uh, the key to transformation is the sum of these four parts of weight training, cardio, nutrition, and accountability. I'll go through each of those sections, but those are our four components of the model. Weight training, cardio, nutrition, accountability. If you remove one of those, car those, those sections, you're not going to get that great transformation. It's just not going to happen. You need those four things in order to really create a compelling transformation. Weight training. Weight training is extremely important. We're going to help to uh, increase your lean body mass. Uh, we do that through um, uh, functional strength training. We do that, uh, you know, with TRX stability training. We do kettlebells, dumbbells. Uh, we do um, some machine work to help to isolate some of your uh, your muscle groups. But a lot of it is just that it's functional training with large, focusing on large muscle groups, multiple muscle groups to create uh, the the uh, the to maximize your training effort. By creating more lean body mass, you're going to increase your resting metabolism. So by putting on five pounds of lean body mass, five pounds of muscle, you're going to burn 200 more calories per day than the person who doesn't have that five pounds of muscle. So that person who doesn't have the five pounds of muscle is going to have to go run a 5K uh, right before they go to bed every night in order to burn the exact same amount of calories you burn just by having that extra muscle. Cardio. We do 25 minutes of high-intensity interval training. Um, that high-intensity interval training is kind of broken down with a, is broken down in two ways, is by a section of a steady state where you're, um, you know, probably three minutes at slightly above comfortable for yourself, or two minutes or one, 90 seconds. We switch it up to keep it, uh, you know, to keep it exciting, um, and then we have a one minute or 90 second or 60 or 45 second burst of high intensity where it's at your absolute 10. So when you hit the end of that 60 seconds, even if we paid you $1,000, you want to be able to take one more step at that speed. And that's how we look at the, the interval. Uh, so we really want to make it sure that you're slightly above comfortable to just all out 10. And what that does is helps to burn. It, it's the most efficient way of burning calories, it's the most efficient way of burning fats. So you're not spending you know, two hours on the treadmill. You're going to uh, lower your blood pressure and keep, increase your HDL, which is the good cholesterol. And most importantly, you're going to create an afterburn effect. So after you leave, you're going to be burning calories for, the, uh, for a period of time after your workout. Excuse me. Um, nutrition. Uh, nutrition is probably the most important part of of the uh, our model, and in fact, Brian always says that we're more of a nutrition accountability model wrapped up in a great workout. Uh, but it's true, nutrition is the most important thing, and we don't we're not going to sit there and prescribe a certain diet to you. What we're going to do is we're going to reteach you how to eat. We're going to take a lot of the wow out of eating, and really just get you back down to the the basics of what you need to do in order to lose um, uh, that weight you need to lose. And we'll give you a blueprint, and we'll give you uh, everything you need to help you get there. Our basic nutrition is this, 13 to 1,600 calories per day, 100 grams of protein minimum. We know that if you're eating 100 grams of protein, that uh, in, in, the, in the framework of a 13 to 1,600 calorie a day diet, that you're going to be putting in good quality food, and you're not going to be filling up on 13 to 1,600 calories of funnel cake. Um, that's going to do you no good. That 100 grams of protein is really important to help you uh, uh, build muscle and lose weight. Uh, eight to ten glasses of water a day. Eat every two to three hours. Eat six times a day. And you have one free day, and we don't care what you do. Go and do whatever you want. We don't want to hear about it. But what you're going to find out is that when you first start on, that free day is going to be just kind of this, this oasis for you. But as you grow into this program and as you start eating clean, that free day is going to become less and less, you're going to become less and less interested in really eating a bunch of, of garbage because your body's not going to crave that. It's not going to want that. It's going to want good quality, clean food. And then accountability. We're going to help you hold yourself accountable. By holding you accountable, we're going to do that through weekly weigh-ins, by coaching, motivation, 
hard conversations, uh, high fives when you lose weight, hard conversations when you uh, put on weight. Uh, we're going to help to manage your behavior with a blueprint, with a nutrition blueprint, with making sure that you're pushing yourself on every uh, strength training exercise by making sure that you're hitting that number 10 um, with your, uh, on your, um, uh, on your uh, cardio side. And that's how we're going to do it. We're going to hold you accountable through the whole process. And we're going to check your, your, your nutrition. We're going to check on all that stuff and uh, really help you be successful. Uh, the workout of the week is something that we do that is uh, our strength training. Uh, this is, uh, you know, basically we give you a workout weekly as a franchise or as a franchisee that you go back to your clients with and your clients – then are able to, you know, everybody in the franchise is on the, doing the same exact same exercises. And that, it, what it does is it frees up your trainers in order to go out there and really coach form, coach cardio, talk about nutrition, talk about, um, uh, you know, different snack ideas and different, but what do people have for breakfast? What are your numbers today? How much, uh, what are people doing for dinner? And really create that dialogue about nutrition to help them be successful. We're going to free up your trainers by giving them uh, this systematic strength training program that changes on a week-to-week -week basis, uh, and it, it really helps to make the studio click on a higher level. So that's how we lose the 12 to 30 pounds in 12 weeks or less. That's, that is the, the nuts and bolts, the, the, the meat and potatoes of our program, uh, the four components, and, and, and really gets into how we do that. Now, the next part is how to turn this passion into a meaningful career. The career opportunities available at Getting Cheap for Women are managers, which is the, the manager typically works 40, 50 hours a week. They run the studio. They do the training. They, um, uh, they are the, the, the backbone and the, the spine of the entire uh, studio. They make sure that that studio is schedules are proper, the women are getting attended to properly, that all free sessions are being booked and leads are being closed, um, and that's what the manager does. The full-time and part-time trainer are the heart and soul of the studio. They're the ones that are making sure that all four components are being completed at the highest, highest of level in order to make sure that that compelling transformation is being taken, is, is, um, being, uh, is being uh, achieved. So that's what the full-time and part-time trainer do. Now, how to apply for this position? Um, go on our website, www.gettingshipforwomen.com backslash careers. This will bring you to the, our career page. You can apply online. You can fill out all your information. You can attach your resume and your cover letter. Pick your desired location or preferred location. Pick your preferred uh, position and if, a, if you're in an area that doesn't have a studio, make sure you type in what area you're, you want to see a studio open up in because then we start to push franchisees to open up in those areas when we know that there's talent available to, um, to be put into place in these studios. So that, that really helps us to really push into different areas. So that's, a, that's how you would go apply for one of our positions. Right now we're 87 locations in 17 states. All the, the, uh, the, I guess, the darker green are all the states that we're in. We have 55 locations in Massachusetts right now, so really just great, a lot of places. And we will be in 500 locations uh, throughout, the, um, throughout the United States. So after, after this step of turning your passion into a meaningful career, the next step we want to talk about is How uh, to open your own Get In Shape Women franchise. Here are the franchise opportunities. So this flow chart really helps to bring you through where you're, you know, your next steps along this franchise journey. Right now you're doing the webinar. At the end of this, you'll schedule your initial phone call with me. Um, I will give you all the information. I'll also send you an email uh, with all the um, uh all of my contact information and a calendar to sign up for um, the uh, a, um, a phone call with me. You'll then attend our discovery day, which is at a corporate office. 
after Discovery Day, we'll hold, we'll hold, we'll hold three territories for you during the FTD, uh, during the uh, disclosure process. After your disclosure process is done, you'll sign the FDD, which is the Franchise Disclosure Document. That will officially make you a franchisee. After that, we give you the new franchisee checklist that we'll go through this whole process with. Site selection, we'll, we'll be working on that and helping you to choose the best location. We'll be sending out letters of intent to landlords, letting them know that we're interested in this location. We'll start with lease negotiations. We won't negotiate your lease, but we'll help you through the process. Uh, we'll build floor plans for your new location. We'll do build out. We'll, we'll help you through the build out while you're while you're going through that. We'll help you, you know, hire contractors and give you the best practices. Um, you'll hire your team. We'll give you best practice for that process. You'll come to franchise school, which is a very intensive, uh, you know, five day training at our Get in Shape for Women. We're actually doing franchise school this week, actually. And then you'll go through your grand opening. We'll shortly after you open, we'll come out for a site visit. We'll be give you uh, full on support as a new owner, and, and you know even as just as an owner in general, we'll give you a ton of support. Then we'll do a first year analysis, and we'll look to make sure that you're ready and see if you want and are interested and ready to move on to student number two. So. Our hours of operation currently at all of our studios are is Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. to 12 p.m. Then we're closed from 12 to 4, and then we reopen 4 to 8. And then Saturday we're open 8 a.m. to 12 p.m., which is an equal of 54 hours. And as you grow, you'll be able to add in some more some more time there. You'll be able to do, um, you know, 6 a.m. to 1 or uh, 4 p.m. I'm sorry, 3:30 p.m. till 8 or 6 to 12 on Saturdays. You'll be able to add, you know adding a little bit of time here and there. Um, but uh, you know this is the the minimum hours are open right now. The manager typically works 40 to 50 hours. The full-time trainer up to 40 hours, and the part-time trainer about 15 hours a week. So that's how you can kind of understand how much the managers and trainers are working. These are our training options that we have. We're a paid in full model, so currently um, these are all paid. This would be, you can see on the, the right-hand column, you'd see what each would look like as a paid in full for two times a week, three times a week, four times a week. We offer three months, six months, and 12-month packages at $31, $26, and $21 per session. We also allow for um, upgrades uh, for each session, for each package as well. So if you're a threat of three-month package, we allow you to upgrade to six or 12 months. And, Six months, you can have you upgrade the 12-month package, and you can get the uh, the reduced pricing if you're upgraded in the uh, a lot of 30 days from your sign-up. Typical startup costs for our um, for a uh, a franchise are anywhere from 51 to 1,000 to 200,000. Those costs range are so big because there's so many factors. Your build-out could be uh, zero. Your landlord could do your build out for you. We've had landlords do that, where they want to be involved and they do the build out for you and they they wrap it into the rent. So you have no capital outlay for your build out, or you can spend up to fifty thousand dollars in your build out. Uh, typically, we we see it a little bit lower than that, but you know, it could potentially be up to fifty thousand. Um, you may want to uh, pay for all your equipment up front, or you know, after doing a credit check, you may want to do a financing deal and because we are a franchise and because we have a high, you know close to 100 studios and because we have a great deal set up with our vendors um, we can help you get the best financing available uh, with a lot of our vendors uh, additional funds are going to be zero to fifty thousand dollars for addition and additional funds um, that's the that's the capital you're using to during your process to help build your clientele and then 16 you know that, that's, that's the equipment there 16 to 25 is where you're 1,625, that's if you're leasing your equipment or if you're paying for it outright. Not leasing, financing, I apologize, financing your equipment or paying for it outright. Here's a sample studio expense. Um, this is very, you know, kind of simplistic. The one thing we're missing is uh, the 6% royalty because the royalty would be, a, you know, a weekly royalty based on what your, your revenues are for that week. So, you know, that would differ. So we're not going to give a, we don't want to give a, a number attached to that, but as you can see, about $1,700 a month is what you would see kind of falling in, is where you would see your um, your expenses typically falling into. 
Here are different revenue streams. Um, like we talked about, the new sales. Those new sales are, you know, all new leads coming in um, and then and, and joining the system. Upgrades are when you sign somebody up. Say you sign somebody up for a three or six month package. In the first 30 days, they're allowed to upgrade. Uh, they're allowed to upgrade whenever they want, but in the first 30 days, they can upgrade um, to a longer package and get the reduced pricing of the, you know, the, the longer package. Um, renewals. Renewals are all those people who are working on your studio currently, when they come up for their three month or six month or 12 month when their package is ending, renewing them to stay on board. Protein sales, we have some really exciting stuff to go into about our protein, um, but yeah, we, we do do protein in, uh, in, in the, uh, for all of our studios, and that's a definitely a portion of your revenues. Um, and also, we have an athletic clothing line coming as well that we're looking at into really high quality, Lululemon quality um, uh, athletic wear that the ladies would you know, love to wear and that will um, discreetly have Get In Shape logos on it. Uh, so that would be another uh, revenue stream for you to um, take advantage of. Item 19 is our, in our FTD is our financial performance representation. Um, this is our 2013 item 19. Um, as you can see, the average monthly revenues were about 25, with the average monthly, uh, average monthly expenses uh, just over 18, and an income before manager salary of $79,000. Uh, That's just the average across the entire franchise. Now, the people who you should be looking at to knock off this board, these are our top 10 studios. This is, this is what this, this is what people should be aiming for when they come into this franchise. They want to be part of this top 10%. Their average monthly revenues were 38,904, with the average monthly uh, operating expense before manager salary of 20,566, showing an average income. I'm showing an income uh, of before manager salary of 12, uh, $220,056 a year. So really great, you know, these these top 10. These are these are the people you really want to be aiming for. Um, to, to really get out there and, and, uh, and, and achieve this kind of success. You can take a look at some of the numbers, Acton being our top studio, really great numbers. Now, territory selection, um, we want to get into a little bit. Territory selection, we do all kinds of different um, methods, but when, we, when, you originally, when you give us your territory that you want to uh, have us take a look at and you want to open your studio and the first thing we're going to do is just do simple stuff like going on and we're going to suggest you do this as well going on ziphoo.com it's a free um a free website where you can look and find out some just real uh basic and, and uh, actually fairly in-depth information about the zip code you're interested in um what we did here is what we look at is the median income and the population of the zip code so you can see for example a place like scarsdale new york 122,000 uh, median income with 38,000 people that's an outstanding location, high net worth, high population, really, really great, um, really, really great uh, location open studio. We want a good combination of a population and net worth because we want to make sure that we're not, um, you know, you'll have a high net worth with no one to sign you up, not no one to sign up because there's no one who lives there. Um, so we want a great population, great combination of both of those. When we find the location you're ready for, and we, we're going to start looking for actual physical locations, and we'll do that. We use uh, a bunch of different methods. One is LoopNet uh, and CoStar, which are both online websites for commercial real estate. Uh, Craigslist has been a great, great um, resource for us. And then I have a great kind of relationship with a bunch of local commercial real estate brokers who can help us find in your, lo in your area locations that we're looking for. And the type of location we're looking for is typically 700 to 600 square feet. We want ample parking. We want, um, I'm sorry, 700 to 1,200 square feet. I apologize. I think I just said that, but I'm not certain. 700 to 1,200 square feet, ample parking. Uh, we don't need to be downtown, bright lights, big city. We are a destination location. Um, but, you know, we definitely would like to see a great anchors. And, you know, we look for all those different things. This is a great spot in Great Neck, New York. Uh, 1,100 square feet or for two different spaces. Um, so you can see it's in a strip, it's got parking, so 
that's what we'll do. And then we start digging in deeper, and we'll do some deeper demographic research with some um, some software that we have uh, to really get deep into it. And uh, we'll do the one, two, and three mile radius of of your studio, and then we'll take a look at you know the 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 location for population for households above a certain income. So we'll look for households above 100,000, households above 150,000, households above 200,000. We'll look for medium income, and all those different things um, to make sure that these the, the location you're choosing is, is really um, the best location for you. We'll put together a sample floor plan. This is actually our Santa Rosa studio that we put together for uh, for his, our franchisee out there. It's a really great, we have some great software we can do to, to put together these locations for you as well um, to make sure that when you walk into the shell of a vanilla shell of a studio, you'll be able to see that you have, um, you can hold up your floor plan and take a look around and go, wow, I know exactly what my studio is going to look like now. Support. Uh, you know, I've looked at a ton of different franchises and I've, I've met people through who've gone through different franchises. The one thing I can say for certain is that we may give more support to our franchisees than any other franchise out there. Um, this is just a small amount of what we do. Franchise school, like I talked to you a little about earlier, um, week-long 40-hour course of intensely intensely learning how to um, run the model and then we do new owner calls to help you to spill some of that information to make sure that you're um, you know you're a drink from a fire hose but now you got to distill all that information down to make sure you you learn to everything step by step the proper way we do weekly owner calls weekly focus calls to make sure that you guys are focused on the right things for the week and making sure that you know you're setting yourself up for success weekly support calls uh, we do monthly coaching calls. We do quarterly coaching calls, uh, coaching workshops that you you attend. We actually have our quarterly uh, coming up this end of this week. We have a big annual convention every uh, year um, to really, really go out there and, and uh, do a lot of team building, a lot of um, planning and uh, coaching. Part of that coaching is our business development coaching that we've really you know, learn to embrace and, and embracing this 10x model. Uh, what we mean by 10x is that we mean we want you to, um, we, we know that it's possible for everybody to grow 10x from where they are now. That you're able, you are able and capable as long as you're willing to do it to, to be able to grow your yourself, your income, and everything about you 10 times. And one of the things we'll have you do is fill out this sheet. When we first start, you know, doing the business development coaching, you're going to fill out this 10X sheet. I've done this sheet. Um, it's really empowering. It's somewhat scary, and it's really exciting when you finish it because you put down these exact – and you put down where you're making now and what you're doing now for vacation and what you um, – your family relationship like now and what your health and purposes are like now, and you grow it all in this sheet. 10 times to where you want to be, to what your 10x is. And you look at it and say, wow, I can do this. This is possible. I can make this much. I can have this much time. I can do this with my family. My health can be in this case. And this is how I'm going to do it. And these are the steps I need to take to do it. It's scary, but, man, it is so empowering to do this step. Um, go to our business development coaching. We'll take you through 12 modules of, uh, of our system, and we'll show you how to – um, accomplish each of these, uh, you know, to successfully uh, run each of these modules. Um, and these modules are going to help you run a successful business. Here's a picture of our quarterly meeting. It's a combination of both managers and trainers really doing some brainstorming. This is a roundtable discussion uh, we have going on. Here's some awards we give out at our annuals and our quarterlies and our monthlies. Uh, every month we do a first place trophy and we show the top ten studios. At our quarterly, we do a first place trophy for the quarter, and if uh, we do our top, 10, um, our top 10 boards as well. And then annually, we do a top, the, the first place trophy for the number one studio, and then annually, we also do trophies for all top 10 owners. Here are our top 10 owners, uh, and you can get an idea of uh, these are just really great, successful people. What the biggest thing that they all have in common is they follow the system and they, they execute the system 
at the highest level to make sure that they are, uh, you know, accomplishing their uh, and crushing their studios. Technology, what we use is uh, MindBody. MindBody is an online software program that we use to help. It's basically our CRM to help to um, really organize the studio, really organize your, your scheduling, organize all your bills, uh, I'm sorry, all, organize all your payments. Um, it get, you know it puts in all the packages that the person are, 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 is going through. And where if there are three month package, six month package, when they're up for renewal, when they're up for upgrade, and all that stuff. That's like, you know the technology that we're using right now. Is my body is uh, is really the, a great technology. So the next step for you guys is our initial. We looked at that flow chart earlier. The next step is your initial phone call with me. This is all my contact information. Write it down. Um, Take all this information out. I'm going to send it to you as well, but make sure you write this down so you don't lose it. Um, let's set up our first phone call together, and let's uh, go through any questions you have, and then we're going to talk about next steps from there. Next step, one of the next steps is going to Discovery Day, attending Discovery Day. Discovery Day is going to be on Friday, July 31st at our Needham office from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. at our uh, in, uh it's just a great day for us to get a chance to meet you, for you to meet us, to make sure that, you know, one, you want to come on board with us, and two, we want to make sure that you, you know, are embracing the, the core values and embrace our system and are ready to, to move forward as a franchisee. So, again, Friday, July 31st, take your calendar out now, circle that date, put it in your, your Outlook, put it in your Gmail calendar, put it in your, your iCalendar. Put down Friday, July 31st and block off 10 to 3 and say you'll be, you'll be attending Discovery Day that day uh, with Get in Shape Women uh, and, corp and Need a Mask. Here are several accolades from Entrepreneur Magazine uh, from Inc. with uh, 5,000. We've uh, been on the Entrepreneur um, Franchise 500 for the last five years. It's a, it's a feather in our cap that we're really proud of. Uh, same with the Inc. 5,000. Uh, 5, we've we've cons consistently been on that as well. Here are some books that we really, uh, really appreciate and suggest you reading. Um, some books that have been really influential in Brian's life. Uh, the E-Myth, uh, talking about small businesses and their growth and why businesses fail and how it just stop them from failing. Um, rich Dad, Poor Dad um, talks about uh, how a rich dad teaches his kids how to, uh, and how to, raise, how to earn money through income-producing assets. Uh, good to Great, the big takeaway from that is that Good is the enemy of great. Jim Collins does an in-depth um, uh, case study on on a bunch of different um, uh, companies that are that are growing and what made them uh, be successful comparative to the a company that is parody to them. And on and on. Mastering the Rockefeller habits. You're gonna um, uh, data, data priority and rhythms. Really making sure that you know we we put a lot of their the, the Rockefeller, Master and Rockefeller Habits um, info into our, our system. Think and Grow Rich, um, thoughts are things, and really embracing thoughts to uh, grow them uh, into what you want. And then Unique Ability, and that's uh, from a, um, a coaching thing that my, our CEO Brian does, and, and it brings that to us. Uh, but Unique Ability is what is your new Unique Ability, harnessing that Unique Ability, doing that Unique Ability, and then surrounding yourself with people who are going to support you to get through the unique ability uh, in a better, and, and, and to help you use your unique ability and to surround yourself with people who have alternate unique, unique abilities from you to help you be successful. So that is our, we've, we've, we've checked off each box. We made our way through the list, and I think this is some really great, uh, you know, I hope you've gotten a lot of information out of this. Um, so I want to open it up for some questions. I know we're a little bit long now, but I'd love to, to be able to answer any questions that anybody has. So please, please feel free to ask away. All right, here's a great one. What is the typical, um, what, are you t what is your typical uh, time frame to open your studio? So, the typical time frame to open the studio uh, is it, it, it's depending. It's 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 different from from state to state because of different regulations. But 
our goal from the time that we sign the lease to the time we open the door is between a six to eight week period. We know that we can get it done. Um, and we do, we have all the checklists and systems put into place to, for you, to help you be successful. And we give you the best practices of learning how to get that place open up. So that's what we look at. Uh, we want to get you in there earning money as soon as possible and, and uh, recouping some expenses that you may have some capital that you've put out to, to help open the studio. We want to get you there as quick as possible. That's one of the, and that really is one of the best, um, one of the best things that we can, uh, um, that we can do in, 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 in being part, one of the best things about being part of a franchise is that you have all those systems to fall back on. You have all that support. You are a small business owner, but you're not reinventing the wheel. You're getting supported by the franchisor. All right, next question. Do I have to be in the fitness industry to be an owner? No, you don't. Um, in fact, we have people who come from all over. We have people who come from tech. We've had people come from uh, you know, HR and different, uh, you know, different things, sales, finance, the finance world. We give you so much. We give you um, the fitness skills you need. And all you need to be able to do, the big thing you need to be able to do is follow the system and be coachable and, and have, you know, and then want to be a franchise owner, want to empower women through body transformation, and we can help you with the rest. Are you opening any studios in New York? Yes, that is one of our major areas of, of um, one of our major areas of of focus, uh, and we will definitely be opening up uh, studios in New York. We haven't done so yet because uh, we're still waiting on people to uh, um, come on board as franchisees. But it's a major area of focus for us, and we will you will definitely see a New York studio uh, coming soon. Any other questions for us? Well, why don't we make this deal, guys? There's some great questions. Why don't we make this deal? Um, let's set up an initial phone call. I know I ran a little bit past my time. I don't want to waste your time, guys. I apologize. Let's set up our initial phone call today, um, and uh, I'm going to send you the information. I'm going to go back after our next slide. I'll go back to the slide, and you can get the information one more time before I hang up, um, and we'll go from there. So the final thoughts is how we end all of our, it's kind of a summary to end all of our, uh, our meeting. It just kind of wraps it up. It takes what you pulled away from this meeting and what you, you know, what you really have uh, thought about. Please email me, I mean, forward me and, and chat with me your final thoughts. My final thoughts is something I mentioned very, very shortly earlier um, in the conversation, but I want to go back to it. It's going, doing meaningful work. Meaningful work is very, very important. It, it, it's really great for your soul. And if you're eating, I mean, there's work. And there's jobs, and it pays the bills, and that's great, and it's cool that you can go out there and do that. But, but, doing meaningful work, there's nothing like it. It's the greatest thing you can do. Uh, and being able to do meaningful work is really important. And we really hope that I know that I do it. I hope that I can help you do it as well. So, thank you guys so much. I'm gonna go back to the slide with the, my information on it. I'm going to leave this up for a couple seconds just so you can make sure you have it all written down, but I'll also be sending you an email. Take out your calendars if you haven't already, guys. Schedule your initial phone call on your calendar. Write on July 31st from 10 to 3. Block it off. We'll be attending Get in Shape for Women Discovery Day. Get all that stuff taken care of, and I can't wait to talk to you guys. Have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.